Old was arrested by Plaquemines Parish deputies. That happened earlier this year. The child's attorney, who is also the attorney for another man tied to a recent Plaquemines arrest, sent us the new footage overnight. Take a look. Dash cam video seems to show one deputy pull the 12 year old off a dirt bike and then allegedly beating him. Another deputy approaches and starts kicking him. This happened back in February of this year. The sheriff's office says the child was riding a dirt bike with a group of ATV riders who were riding around without headlights and driving recklessly. This happened on Woodland Highway. Deputies say the group refused to stop. The sheriff's office tells us the 12 year old was one of two riders arrested uh, that night. One of the riders, a 20 year old man, later hit a vehicle head on and tried to escape the deputies. They were both arrested. This morning we are hearing from that 12 year old child who reportedly had a broken leg and a concussion. Here's what he had to say about the encounter. He tells he says the ATV fell on top of him when he was pulled off. I've been seeing the police officer to turn around and I'm, I'm looking back, I'm like, is he trying to, is he trying to um, make us go to the area? Is he trying to chase somebody else? I'm trying to figure out, is he trying to get, is he trying to come back to me? But then once I figured out that he was actually trying to pursue me, that's when the Raymond and I actually thought that. That's whenever the cop came in front of me and cut me off. So that's why I swerved over to the left side, I mean the right side where the train tracks are. I turned the bike off and then he came, he jumped out the car and ran up to me and pulled me off the bike. I was on the ground with the bike on me, with a very hot bike on me. The Plaquemines Parish Sheriff's Office released a very detailed statement on the situation. It says the office has, quote, reviewed all the actions of the deputies that responded to the incident and determined all deputies performed their duties within the guidelines of the PPSO policy using only the force necessary to subdue the suspects. Since the date of the incident, neither the juvenile male nor his parents made any complaints to the Plaquemines Parish Sheriff's Office regarding any injuries sustained during the incident. After recently retaining the services of the same legal counsel as Reginald Hamilton, it's clear these allegations are an attempt to present edited content to inflame the public's perception of the facts of these incidents. All the facts of these cases will be presented in a court of law. As the statement mentioned, the attorney for the child is the same attorney representing Reginald Hamilton. You may recall the video showing deputies chasing Hamilton, who was riding an ATV because he allegedly wouldn't stop. It ended in a crash. Hamilton suffered a brain injury, and a Plaquemines Parish deputy was severely injured. He had to get his leg amputated. There have been local and national disputes 